Hey everyone, you're Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. Today we're going to do an autopilot test in Sydney on Military Road on Sydney's Lower North Shore. We're going to drive from this point, which is the Warringah Expressway, on Military Road, across Neutral Bay and Cremorne, and then head up the Spit Bridge and then back up north through the Wakehurst Parkway. All right, so I'm going to engage autopilot now. Two shakes down with the right stalk and away we go. Now I would argue that uh, Military Road in Sydney is one of the busiest roads normally but during COVID it's uh, probably a little bit quieter than, quieter than usual as you'd expect but nevertheless it can be confusing because the lane markings do change but on our journey we'll see a few things, we'll see stop signs, we'll see traffic lights, we'll see lane markings that stop sign marking there on the road is incorrect because it's actually a bus lane uh, marking. So something for future updates, hopefully. Okay, so I'm currently in the wrong lane. It's okay, it's disengaged itself. I definitely didn't waggle the steering wheel. It just uh, disengaged, that's fine. It's gone back to uh, cruise control. What I'll do is I'll just take over manually, switch out of this lane, so I'm in the middle lane. And then, once I cross this intersection, I will re-engage autopilot once more. So at the moment, I'm on uh, basic autopilot, which is um, uh, not navigate, which is just basic uh, lane keeping assist, well, lane, lane keeping auto steer and um, and cruise control and traffic aware as well. So it follows the cars ahead of me. Well, see that? Yeah. I took over again because it was definitely confused. Like I said, this road, the markings do change occasionally, which is why I'm always a bit vigilant with autopilot. You might have seen on the footage there that uh, there were lights on the road to indicate a change of lanes depending on time of day. So that wasn't a good test for the car. Didn't pass that one at all. Which is why I always say, keep your hands on the wheel, eyes on the road. Okay, so we're just passing through Cremorne. It's still pretty busy, I must say. All right, another test here, crossing the intersection. Okay, good, that followed the lane pretty well there. More cones on the side of the road. Bit of light rain starting to fall in Sydney. Doesn't rain too much here in Sydney. See how well the uh, automatic wipers work in this light rain. As I've said before in previous videos, I do like the fact that the car is, is good for stop-start traffic in autopilot mode. It basically goes from zero, from a, from a standing start to um, the speed limit, which I always find very impressive. And there go the wipers. That's nice. Okay. So, not too bad. That was the busiest part of Military Road. So just the one mishap uh, as, um, as the lanes changed on the road there. That's okay. All right, so we're um, sort of heading into Mossman and uh, I'll take a left before Mossman and we'll go up the Spit Bridge. It's quite picturesque down that way. Yeah, one viewer commented that uh, when it works well, it feels like the car is on rails. I've got to say, it's pretty good when the lane markings are good. The car does feel very solid. And mind you, I'm in basically in the city. 
I'm not on the open road, so, you know, I think it's doing a fairly good job. Okay, so we're coming up to the spit junction. And what I'll do is I'll swing into the left lane here and keep auto lane change. Worked pretty well. Parked car, it's okay. I'll disengage that so I can get into this lane. Okay, and it's back on autopilot again. All right, some more dubious lane markings coming up. Ooh. Okay, followed it pretty well there. I guess that one was, was a bit more obvious. You see how on the road there, there's two sets of markings once again. That's okay, the car performed reasonably well again. All right, the spit bridge has got two speed cameras. This is where uh, I guess cruise control and autopilot is handy. So uh, it just it just gets it follows the speed limit very well. No chance of a ticket if the speedometer is correct. Small rubbish bins there on the side. Small traffic cones. There's the first speed camera. No dramas. Okay, crossing an intersection. Ooh, come on, buddy. Yeah, yep, that disengaged again. Whether it was me or the car, I'm not sure. I think it's probably me. Just grip, gripping the wheel a bit too tightly. I think I'd rather do that than um, get the car trying to follow the lane next to me and then this truck is right behind me, so. Safety first, guys. Okay, so here we are on the spit bridge on the descent. Just coming up to the second speed camera now. Okay, this is where it's dubious again with the lane markings. There are traffic cones or markers on the right. That's okay, we're in the middle lane, so it shouldn't be a bother to us. So, as I've explained before in the past, if you're the first car at a traffic light currently with this software update, 2020.12.11.1, uh, you've got to turn autopilot off because the car will just race through. It won't react to traffic lights just yet or stop signs. But in future updates, I think it will, because in the States, it's starting to react to traffic lights. So for now, if you're, not, you're not used to, if you're not used to autopilot, if you're the first car at the lights, turn it off. If you're the second and subsequent car, that's fine. Just leave it on and should stop with the car ahead of it. Okay. So back on autopilot. Traveling at 50. Hands on the wheel. There's a big truck next to me, so I don't want to play too many games here. Happy to take it off at any time. There's some um, traffic markers on my right there. Okay, that passed that test. Here we are on the spit bridge. Okay, more traffic markings. Don't hit it. Okay, well, that did a good job. All right, we're on the other side now on the ascent. 
so that was good reasonably well I wouldn't say I did great along the military road but on the spit bridge did okay I thought all right so what we're gonna do is uh, find our way onto the Wakehurst Parkway and head north again a bit uh, better road here because uh, our roads aren't as tight a bit more space lane markings don't change from memory so should do a better job right here all right so what we want to do is go up Sydney Road so we're gonna do a left lane change very nice all right doing a left here so what I'm gonna do change one more time no didn't make it okay so that was a manual brake didn't react fast enough that's okay okay engage and then lane change just for the sake of it there is a roundabout coming up and I'm not game enough to try it again very low tolerance to turning it off Elon Musk did tweet that roundabouts are quote-unquote easy so we shall see in subsequent updates whether that is the case at the moment it's just not a happy customer when it comes to um, roundabouts but right, so I'm probably gonna take it off pretty quickly here yeah so we'll do a right in here see I mean the autopilot sign has come off anyway for roundabouts okay okay so uh, let's engage autopilot again should be 50 kilometers an hour not school zones just yet it's only 1 53 p.m. school zones start at 2 30 more traffic lights more bins there's a stop sign there should be able to see it it rounds the corner oh yeah nice good job good job oh that's tight that's tight oh no nah, too tight around that corner come on car take the middle of the lane here not good that's right I took over all right so should be 60 in a minute there we go all right let's punch 60 I don't know why I went to 70 okay now it's 60 all right a bit more relaxed here roads a bit better basically one straight road and then we'll uh, round the corner onto the Wakehurst Parkway that uh, should be quite a nice drive one straight road on 80 kilometers an hour I still think it's too much to the right hand side for my liking considering it's oncoming traffic on the other side I would like to see it hug the middle and possibly the left side a bit more it's not great on corners that's one one criticism not smooth just yet okay so now we're onto the Wakehurst Parkway. It's a nice straight road, quite picturesque. After this traffic light, oh, look, there's a four bulb light in a row. It's, uh, it's not gonna pick it up. Yeah, it's just a three bulb at the moment on the screen. Whoa, bit of phantom braking there. Not sure what happened. Weird. Very weird. Must have hit a dip. Saw a shadow, maybe. All right, should be 80 in any minute. I think once we pass these lights, it should be 80. Let's see. There's diamond on the road there. Not quite right. See some fencing on the left. Nice if there was a speed sign. No speed signs for a while. Pretty sure it's 80 by now. Just gonna pump it up to 80. Yeah, look, it's not reacting to my scrolly wheel. Ah, uh, auto steer restricted to 60. That's why. Oh, that's a shame. 
That's a shame. All right, I'm gonna go a bit more quickly because I'm gonna annoy the car behind me otherwise. Because it is 80 kilometers an hour. There we go, it's finally 80. Yeah, strange. Strange I couldn't scroll up. Anyway, now it's 80. Okay, so this is where the autopilot is in its element. Nice straight road. This is where it's on rails, basically. guys well that is my little drive today between I guess Crow's Nest up to uh, French's Forest via Military Road the Spit and Wakehurst Parkway using autopilot for I would say maybe 80 to 90 percent of the time I would say there was maybe four or five mishaps so what should I give it today I would give it a B plus today yeah B plus that's my report card for autopilot basic autopilot for Tesla Model 3 performance on software update 2020.12.11.1 with FSD visualizations. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time. And as always, happy charging.